I would say this is probably a cemetery, or at least it was a cemetery. You've got crosses in the stone wall. Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is a Monday morning and we're really busy here at the convent. Um, this morning's job is to clear out the garage. Morning, so this is Rick everyone. Hi. This is a strange surname. And <laughs> this is Steve. Thank you. You've seen Steve before, yeah. In the garage, I'm storing the classic Range Rover, uh, numerous tools, the wood chipper. Um, we have been clearing out here already this morning. Um, there was lots of old furniture, and uh, this is what's left basically. Uh, we've got some old pallets, Steve. Yeah. Do you want any of those? I can, do, I can use a football. Keep the sheep in. We're making really good progress in here. Um, most of the furniture is now gone. There's just cardboard left. Um, there's also lots of cardboard on the ceiling as well. So we're gonna take that off as well. We're gonna sweep this whole area, move all the equipment over to this side, and then do the ceiling on that side. What's that, Steve? That's an umbrella. Oh, I'll tell you what, that is a lovely pattern. It's very nice. That's a good find, Steve. Well done. Is it safe? Uh, yes, but keep your footsteps wide apart to spread the weight out. So okay. Right. Right, let me have a look before we throw it down. Is it safe there? It's fairly safe. <laughs> so, don't breathe this thing. Steve, I think we've found a whole room of panelling. Yeah. Could, yeah. Would you better do us a favour and just try and turn one of these upside down? What about this one we've got our foot yeah. on here? Let's just try and turn I'm that up. I'm on a joint here. Let's just try and turn it up a minute. Well, that's why. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Right, okay. We'll put that one down as it is. That's it. You got that? Okay, I've got it. Yeah. That's very light. Okay, yeah. And uh, can we turn one of these up as well? Just watch out, just watch your, your footing there. Yeah. Um. I want to be me. Try and turn it over and have a look. Oh, that's lovely, that is. That's wow. really, really nice panelling, that is. I know where the rest of that is, it's up in the attic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You got enough for a hot room? Uh, probably, yeah. Um, Let's put that down again, as it is. That's it. You got that, Steve? Oh, now that, that's a nice bit, that is. Wow, look at that. Wow. Well, the interiors used to be quite nice. <laughs> and you got another piece here? Yeah, good find. And another one here? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Four, one with flowers. Yeah, we'll just leave them up here for now. Yep. Yeah. At least we know where the planks are and where we can walk. Oh, it's yellow. That's nice. Mustard colour, very French. And you've got a name on the handle. Oh, no. Canadian or American five cents? Let's have a look. That is an American five cents, yeah. 2002. Quite ironic, really. That's yeah. five cents and we've got no cents. <laughs> oh, 
So we're currently at the chateau and we're picking something up um, which we're going to put in the garage, hence why we cleaned it out today. Um, some of you haven't seen this before, but I have featured it, featured it on the channel before, so here we go. What are we doing, Steve? Uh, brute force and ignorance for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, brute force and ignorance. Love it. So we're moving the Chateau carriage to the uh, garage at the convent because... You know, it will keep it out of the rain. Um, we do have a sheet on it here, and it has kept the water off, but it's not ideal. So it's gonna go to the convent, and there it can stay until a time comes that it will be restored. Steve. Yes. What is the obvious problem what we're gonna have with this carriage? There's only three wheels on this wagon. <laughs> this wagon only has three wheels. I bought it with only three wheels. Um, it was going cheap. It was actually really cheap. Um, I thought it was a bargain. So I bought it many years ago. And, regretted it and I've regretted it ever since, yeah. <laughs> well, we're getting there. Um, three wheels is making it a little bit difficult. It was a little bit iffy on the uh, country road, but once we got onto the main road, it was fine. It wasn't bouncing around so much. So yeah, I think it's time for a wheelwright to get in touch with us and to help us out because with four new wheels, some TLC, this carriage could be like new again. These wheels have uh, seen better days. There's no um, maker's mark on any of the hubs. Right. You jack this up at this end. You need a bar to get it back to there, don't we? You want to put There was something thin enough to get through the phone. Is it quite spacious? It's not bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to be part of four in it. Well, maybe it's for three then. Or two, two and a baby. Two, two and, and a baby, baby, yeah. The electric windows don't work. No. <laughs> and you stalk your gun. <laughs> Come on, you Steve. Come on. Just push it. Just push it. There you go. Oh, doesn't like that. There you go, sir. Lack of oil, I was on the alcohol. <laughs>
these planters I originally bought for the chateau. Um, however, when I first put them out and laid them out, I put them in loads of different locations. And everyone agreed that they don't look right at the chateau. And I think it's because of the style. Um, Bamignet is neo-Gothic or Gothic revival. And these are 18th century style planters for your more typical French chateau. Um, the convent is 18th century with its mansard roof. It is very chateau-esque in certain places, especially the main building behind me. Um, so I think they look great here. In fact, they look like they were designed to go there. On the cobbles, that's why we went mad the day before yesterday, doing all the cobbles, trying to get them all cleared off for the delivery of the plants and the planters. Um, I'm covered in mud. We've been doing this all day long. Um, so yeah, they're looking really good. I'm really, really happy with the results. Uh, we're not going to trim them now. We're going to wait until they grow out a little bit more. And then we're going to trim them into proper, nice, neat cones. It's pretty self-explanatory. The yew tree goes into the planter. However, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, first of all, we put 10 centimeters of stone for drainage. Um, then we put a layer of soil or compost. This is all mulch from the Chateau Forest. It's great stuff and it doesn't cost anything. Um, and then we put this pipe, this perforated pipe, which acts as a bit of a drain, but it's design, and we've been advised to do this, is so that when you fill this up with water, it moistens all the soil all the way down, rather than just doing the top, um, which won't penetrate all the way down through the soil. So we've been advised to do that by a professional who does this for a living. Um, it's a great idea. So yeah, we've done six already today. Hello everyone, I'm currently at the convent. It's close to Gate Mugwin. So nobody wanders in. Um, I've come here for a specific reason because um, Remy, you haven't met Remy before, but he has been working here. Um, he is the one who discovered the greenhouse. Um, he was here yesterday with his friend Thierry and they were clearing the garden a little bit. Um, and they did amazing progress. They got really, really far. Well, they've discovered parts of the garden that I've never seen before. Um, and I'm gonna show you now. Um, one or two parts of it are incredibly interesting. Um, yeah, say no more, let's go and have a look. So the building in the background, um, it doesn't belong to us, but it did used to connect to the property um, and it is part of the former hospital. Um, the part that we own is the convent itself and the buildings which come from the chapel and onwards in this direction are all the old hospital. But look at this. They've started clearing and it looks amazing. Can you see that everyone, that there's like, well, I can't count how many holes there are, but there is a fair few. And it's such a shame um, that a building like that, in the center of a nice town like this, is going to wreck and ruin.
it's like a, a tunnel. <laughs> these granite steps is the really interesting find which I want to show you all so we're standing on um, what I could only explain as sort of a terrace this is a built-up area um, just next to me here is a wall um, it's about two and a half meters higher than the rest of the garden and you have this very large wall behind me. So what's really intriguing about this is what is on the wall behind me. Um, can you see the cross? There's about 12 or 15 of those in a row. So you have another here, another one there. It reminds me a bit of a Celtic cross. Um, I'm not sure. I've counted about 15 um, of those and they're all perfectly in line and spaced apart from each other along this wall on this built up terrace um, you see it has a metal fence and you know it's quite a private garden um, now this is really intriguing um, to me um, I would say this is probably a cemetery, or at least it was a cemetery. Um, you've got crosses in the stone wall. It's a built up area, a terrace. Um, it's planted really well. Um, there's some really nice flowers everywhere. Um, and it's overlooking a remarkable view of a valley, which used to be part of the um, grounds of the convent. Thank you to everyone for watching this week's video. We got so much work done and a lot of progress. I'm really happy and pleased. The plants look really, really nice. Um, and you know, a few extra discoveries in the garden. Um, next week, very interesting week, I've got to go and collect the gates all the way down in the south of France near Po on the Spanish border. Um, I'm gonna leave here on Tuesday to go and collect them. Um, the bell, I'm still considering that purchase just because it's very expensive. It's an 18th century um, bronze bell and it's very expensive. So I'm going to wait a little bit extra, a bit more time for that, just because it's so expensive. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching this week's video and I'll see you all next week.